Hey everybody, X Brown Bear here. And today we're gonna build a flute. Now, what is a flute? Well, we're not talking about the flute they use to play an instrument. Instead, we're talking about basically, you know, a Dutch sailing vessel from, you know, the 16th or the 17th century. It's gonna be a, a simple design for my first video. It's gonna build a little ship. It's gonna have about three decks. Not too big. I'll, uh, flutes didn't usually have too many people per se. Um, you know, a little bit, a little bit smaller than a galleon, I would say. There's not gonna be too many weapons or whatnot because it's mainly a trading vessel. Anyways, uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm trying to do right here is um, find the items that I need. Basically, I want to start with a lily pad, and now. This might seem silly why we need a lily pad, but instead of building straight from the ground, as in I swim to the bottom of the ocean and place dirt blocks until I reach the, um, what's it called? Reach the water, I could just place a little lily pad right here, and then I'll be able to build on top of that, because I guess a lily pad is a solid block, because you do stand on those, so. Anyways, um, my ship's gonna have about three three or two main decks I would say and then I guess three decks because there's gonna be two decks above the top deck and then there's gonna be a little captain's quarters and then the poop deck, poop deck in the back anyways so what, what I'm gonna build my ship out of is um, it's a little lag while I try to grab the items I, I'm using the um, Resonant Rise um, mod pack by the way so that's something pretty cool. It's kind of similar to the Mad Pack. You, you could try it out yourself. He has a, I think about 220 mods or so. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, it has a lot of mods. So if you have the computer to run, you should definitely try it out. Do a lot with it. So let me see. I'm going to build out Sakura. You know, the the deck that you stand on. I, I kind of like the color. It has a little, um, what's it called? A polished look, I, I should say. Speaking of polish, I'm gonna get polished planks for the exterior. Or, or you know, what? I'm gonna use some spruce planks. I discovered last night I like that color a little bit, just a little bit better. That's gonna be the exterior. So, we'll start off with that. All right, one more, one more thing. Spruce logs. We're gonna use that to build the the mast. Okay, what was like a spruce wood? Sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make the the mass too high up for now just so I have you know I know where the middle is the center point I'm gonna get rid of this little lily pad and build a little bit underneath the water it's probably gonna be one deck above, or underneath the water because otherwise it would just be a, a floating ship so I think I'm gonna start right here my my um, my middle deck so I'm gonna start here I'm gonna build about 22 long in each direction. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm going to do that to you on the other side. And like I said, this is going to be my center mass, mast. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And why I chose 22 and 22 to make 44 for this little main part of this first deck. Um, just arbitrary, you know. Kind of like that number. It's not, it's not a lucky number in, what's it called? Asian cultures, I know, but eh, whatever. So the center is going to be a little wider. While I was, um, you know, building a test ship earlier, what's it called? Found that I, I, I made, you know, the bow and the stern, what's it called, the front and the back of the ship, um, more curvy. And I had some, it looked more three D. But I had made the, the sides of the ship a little bit too blocky. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna work on the exterior of this before I fill it up first. I'm gonna make the center a little bit be bigger, so it's more of a what's it called a little. I guess I guess I would describe it as a sandwich shape rather than just being a rectangle. 
Yeah, right. It's going to make it a little arbitrary, a little bit bigger here. How much I do? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do that here too. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll make it six. Six. I'll make seven. Uh, that'll be a lucky number. Six, seven. I don't know how, how long um, building the middle deck's gonna take, so um, it's probably gonna be more than one video. Six, seven, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you know, one thing kindergartners can do better than me is actually count, so. So it's something I like to count out loud to, you know, make sure I'm doing it right at least. I'm gonna make it maybe like. Three, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do that again here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, you know, th this isn't going to be like some crazy project, you know, with 700 billion details. This is just a little. You know, maybe a little guide that you guys can use to build your own ship. And to, I don't know, maybe get some some own ideas. And so it won't be so blocky. Like, like the first ships I made when I first started Minecraft. Okay, now it's going to make a little smaller here too. Maybe just maybe, maybe just four. Let's try four. I, I, I can extend it later. Two, three, four. Now I'm getting a little worried about my numbers. So maybe I'll make it... Let's start here a little bit. Three. I, I stay with. Four. Yeah, let's make this five then, and then four. Then three. And two. I I I swear I, I did not count, pick forty four um, to make this perfect. I, I I swear this just came. You know. I I'm just a lucky person, I guess. Like, Probably plan these things better, but hey, it worked out, so why not? Five, four, one, two, three, four. Am I doing right? Yeah, I, I, I am. I'm doing right. Okay, just to make sure. Two, three, three. All right. No, no, what, what did I do again? <laughs> Let me just count right here. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, and four, and three, and two. Okay, great. Two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, I'm on five right here. Like I said, it, it was just, it, I swear to God, even though this is my first video, that it was purely coincidental what I did right here to make these numbers work out. Four, th three, and then two. Well, I guess it didn't perfectly work out because I didn't have a, a spot for one, but whatever. Two, three. Oops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, great. And before I fill this in, I'm gonna I'm gonna just trace a little outline here. Basically, how um how tall I want my ship to be. It's gonna be um. Uh, I, I've been trying to debate if I wanted to make it, um, what's it called, two elevation high or, or three elevation high. Now three, you kind of get more, you know, room. And then the ship, you know, I, I guess it should be more crowded, but I, I've always built with threes. I, I like that little extra room, so, you know, I, play some, I can do more with the interior. Two, two just feels like, I don't know, I, I just feel claustrophobic with two. Uh, uh, Height of two, so I'm gonna make it three like this, and I'm just gonna fill this in right here, real quick. Oops. Oh man. Okay, now now I'm gonna make the ma mass, the other mass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm just counting how far. And I guess this would be ten where I'm standing. Just gauging how far it'd be. Ten. Maybe a little further. Eleven. Well, I think eleven is gonna be our lucky number. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get, jump underneath so so the blocks like, facing the right way. Oops. 
My head's too fat right now, so I can't fit in. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. I'm going to fill in this little hole. Like I said, this, this is going to be the middle deck. This is going to be a, a main deck above this too. So there's going to be a roof over this in, in the future. But uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, 11. See, I want to build out 10 because uh, I lost my train of thought for a second. One, two, wait, one sec. I'm not supposed to be doing this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Doop. Just jump underneath so I can change the direction of the mask again. Alright. So basically, this is probably gonna be where the sailor is in, you know, and the regular people are gonna be doing most of their work. And, you know, yeah, we, we we could be a little bit um, what's it called? We can add some cool things to it, and it doesn't just have to be um, um, you know, it doesn't have to look this empty. I don't want it to look this empty. So what do what do sailors need? Well, they need a bed, of course. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some beds. I assign between the carpenter's beds or the regular beds. I'm just gonna use regular beds for now. They they look a little, a little bit lamer than than this fancy carpenter bed. And you know they're just sailors. They don't they don't need a fancy bed. And then they need a source of light. So I think lanterns, a nice little lantern. Would, will do the trick. Or maybe a lamp. Yeah, I think this is what I used in my test build. Uh, a lamp. Because, you know... I, I I think this looked, you know, the coolest, but... I I think given the time period, they probably didn't have gas, li gas lighting or anything like that. Invented yes. Well, especially not on a ship. Oh, what am I talking about? Never mind. So... See what color do we like? Uh, quarried stone, sandstone. Oh, I'm gonna pick the bleached bone. Kind of like this color. And now we're gonna. What's it called? We add a little bit more. We're gonna make it a little bit, you know, tighter looking. We're gonna add, we're gonna add these little wooden blocks just so we have, you know. More, more support. Because if this was a real ship, we wouldn't just have. We 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 have some more things, you know, to support the ship from collapsing. Because that'd be pretty bad. Oh yeah, I was supposed to fix this. Oh yeah, this this is where I can add my support at the same time. It works out. All oh, right. Perfect. Okay, I already fixed it a little bit on that side, so. And you know, I don't know if you ever seen you know people build a a ship in real life. But it's not. It's definitely not just you know a hollowed out structure or like a. I don't know if you ever went to a museum saw an old ship. It's definitely not just you know a hollow structure with three plagues. There, there's other you know little wooden support beams and stuff on the sides. So I'm gonna try recreate that a little bit. Oops. There we go. Oh man, yeah. See, I, I gotta click right at the right <laughs> around the the block below and not on the block to the side. Actually, we'll add a little support beam here. You know, give it a better look. Here we go. Okay, I think we have like two or three more to go, and then we'll have have it done. All right, perfect. And this looks to be a little bit too much space in the middle, so we're just gonna add another log down down the mast. I, I think that's that's not too bad. What do you guys think? All right, so now we'll add the beds and etc. So, oops, I'm gonna add a bed here. And I guess I'll add a bed here. You know, what else do people on the ships need? They, they need a place to store their stuff. So, how about a chest? Cool. Trap chest? No, we don't want that. <laughs> we, we, we don't want people, people on the ship blowing blowing themselves up. It's just something something simple, you know, a little pirate's chest. But ships are crowded, so people people don't just sleep like that. 
you know, you gotta fit as many beds as you can in a little cramped ass, cramped ship. So you know, this is how I'm gonna make you know some bunk beds basically. If you're a person, you, you could crawl underneath that. Uh, maybe I should have used half blocks, but sometimes when you have half blocks, you have a little trouble placing stuff over that. So let's try it. I'm gonna use this little setup here. Do do do. Let's add beds to. Oops. Add beds to more of these logs. Oh yeah, and and then uh, what's it called? Oh, it shouldn't be two half logs. It should be two whole logs. Everyone has everyone has a chest. And then we're gonna add these little lanterns right here. Is that, is that too low? That's too high. Then we'll add these little lanterns here. So, you know. Because, like I said, this is going to be the middle deck, so people aren't going to be able to, to see anything. There's no lighting here. These beds again. Doop. Doop. Oops. Bed didn't pop out. Come out. Okay, perfect. No, I don't care about sleeping. Because I'm god of this world. I don't have to sleep. Alright, let's, let's do it for this side, too. All right, oops, come out. There you go. And come out, come out. Okay, perfect. Add some more chests. So I swear I'm clicking, man. There might be a little lag. I, I am running a lot of mods, so. It does take some time sometimes for it to come out. I might need to click again. Silly computer. Uh oh, did I count this wrong? Oh, here's what I did wrong. Yeah, I did count wrong. Whoops. Here we go. Perfect. I could do. I could do something a kindergarten can do. Believe it or not, I did graduate from kindergarten. I don't know, you guys are probably already doubting that with my counting skills, but you just have to take my word for it. I'll, I'll have a. Ah, did they even give like a graduation, uh, what's it called, a little diploma when you graduate graduate kindergarten? I don't remember, that was, that was such a long time ago. Alright, I guess we could, put, we could put some beds here too. Um, come on, come on, there we go. You, you, you only get a small chest, you're, you're, you're not as cool. Does it look better like this or like this? Ah, no. I mean, now see what I, I guess it looks better like that. I, I wish you could make you know what's it called a cross section, a cross section log. Yeah, okay, I, I'm nice. You you guys get a double chest as well. I guess I remove you then. No lighting for a second. All right, how to arrange these beds? I look like this. So you know, we 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 can pretend these are like cots or whatever because I don't think sailors had real fancy beds, you know, with sheets and a pillow and a frame and everything. They probably just had a little a cot or you know, um, where those called you know when you. When you see people in the jungle and you're just like s sleeping on those rope things, that they, you know, kind of. I forgot what they're called. I'll have to look that up sometime. <laughs> yeah, I'll add another set of beds. Why not? Sa sailors sa sailors live a, live a crowded life. Alright. Um. Uh... Nah, I, I, I have another idea what I'm going to put there in a second. I think. Or I haven't decided yet, so. Anyways, sailors need a little entertainment too, so we'll have some barrels. And then a table. What kind of table do we like? Stencil table? No, those are Tinker's construct. Well, we'll get to you all that later. So many tables in the, in the bibliocraft. Which one do we want? Um... 
probably should stick to the theme of where, you know, these sailors came from a country where they have a lot of sakura and spruce trees. Probably have spruce and sakura tables as well. Now where is the sakura table? Maple table? You know what? I'm gonna use my brain. Sakura table, okay. Here we go. Um, I can use my brain, but I can't use my eyes. Maybe there isn't a sakura table. Maybe I'm just overlooking it. Oh, I have a spruce table then. How's that? Spruce table. Hey. So, you know, sailors want a little entertainment, but to play cards or whatever, but they aren't they aren't fancy enough, to, you know, like the officers to have real chairs, so they get, they'll use the barrels too. To, you know, sit down and have have a little have a little downtime when they're off duty. Well, we have a little too much space it looks like. What, what else can we figure fill this area out with? Probably more barrels and stuff. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. And we'll use this area of the ship. This will be oh, actually this will be the front of the ship because it's kind of facing land or something. So we're gonna we're gonna have this to be the back of the ship. I think we need a there a support beam here, just to make it symmetrical. Now I'm just gonna place some barrels randomly, you know, to the top of the ship. Oops. Ah, yeah, this is an item you can use to ferment some stuff or whatever. I, I don't know what, what all the mods here do. I I just picked the mod that had a lot of options. So. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll make the barrels stack like this a little bit. Mm. All right, they're, they're stacked a little bit randomly, but that's okay. People, people aren't perfectly organized. So now, what do we need? We need some cannons. So how am I gonna build these cannons? We're gonna build these cannons out of wool and a dispenser. Now I, I've seen the TNT cannons, and and they're cool. You, you add the little function to it. But my problem with TNT cans is uh, they, they just don't look very realistic, you know. No, no one just launches blocks of TNT out. So here's the wool dispenser, cart dispenser. Um, th this looks a little bit cooler. And, and then we'll have a little flap. Now for my ship, my country is going to, well since they're Dutch, well, since flutes are Dutch ships, I should say, I'll, I'll have orange. Orange, um, little flaps, you know, the little can of flaps, they stick the cannon out of the opening, but normally are closed. Um, I'll show you a bit if you don't understand what, what I'm talking about. Carpet, orange carpet. And, let's see. I'll replace the table. I'll just put that in my inventory for now. Oh, apparently, I picked up some raw lamb chop. I don't know, I didn't kill anything yet. Apparently, I murdered someone, murdered a sheep without, you know, noticing. All right, so how am I gonna do this? Try to remember. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna have cannons everywhere because this is more of a trade ship. So probably gonna have one or two cannons in the front, maybe one cannon in the back, J just for self protection. You know, a little bit of defense. Okay, and then the dispenser. So hey, it looks like a cannon a bit. What happened to my orange carp out oh, here? To see it. Oops. All right, so ha it has a little flappy though. It'll, it'll look okay. I can't place it, but just imagine the cannons, you know, popped out of this little hole. And the flaps are the flaps extended upwards. So we can fill in this place again. Now we don't we don't want just you know. Some random cannon sticking out like this. It, the cannon is probably mounted on some on some wood with some wheels, but since it's Minecraft, I don't think we we have wheels unless I build a, you know a giant cir giant big circle around it. And that'd be a little too big. So build like this. Maybe I'll use some wood slabs, spruce slab. Okay, come on now. It's called spruce wood stairs now. Spruce wood slab. Here we go. We still need the lanterns. I'll replace the table for now. 
or the chest, excuse me. Put, put it like this. Kind of looks like a cannon, you know. You can move around. You can pretend these are wheels or something, or maybe they're fixed. I'll use that excuse. They're they're already fixed to the to the ship. You can't move these around too much. And we'll do the same around here. Do do do. Boom. Yeah, just like. Oh no! I, I, see, maybe I shouldn't have graduated from kindergarten. Apparently, I don't have any s symmetry skills either. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Where is that? Here we go. And did I make a one out or two out? I made one out in the dispenser. Okay. Boop. You know, you can add arrows and the little redstone mechanism or something if you want to be able to launch these out. Maybe a, a lever mechanism somehow. But this is just for decoration on my ship. These, these are just fake cannons. No, I'm just joking. Well, if you're a sailor, help the real cannons if you ever came under attack. And yeah, I guess I'll just add one cannon here for now. Let's see. All right, because, yeah, this is the back. I, I said I only had one cannon here, so here I'll here I'll add um, two cannons. Um, okay, I'll add my first cannon here. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but because this is four, but that's okay. It's, it's it's functional. At least they have a can. Do do do. Oh wait, I still I need to stay on the the on the wool wool. It's a funny word to pronounce wool. Okay, right here. Oh yeah, that's probably where I got you know all these black wools from. I'd probably kill a little sheep. That, that's where I got the raw lamb chop too, right? Poor sheep. All right, did I do this right? Yeah, I did. So sometimes I gotta go around, and, you know, just just double check, make sure. Yeah, all right, now we add my little cannon. Boom, boom. Oh, wait, that one or two. See, this is where poor memory, you know, starts getting to you when you're building. Oh no, I, this was correct. Okay. And Rawr. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, let's fill this up a little bit. And we'll add a cannon here. We have, we have two can two sets of cans in front and one set of cannon in the back. Can one set of cannons. Man, I should have went to grammar school. Or I should have paid attention to school more. Okay, so one set. What's one set of cannons? Yeah, I think that's correct. Um, but that's not correct. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Do, do, do. Do, do. Okay, well, let's finish the spot up a bit. For some reason I thought that dispenser looked extra large. So if you look at this way, it's straight. But if you look at this way, it's a little longer. Probably because it's, it's a diagonal. Hmm. It's kind of cool. It's kind of trippy. Okay, let's get back to work. Something, something I actually never noticed. Maybe maybe it's just this uh, graphics pack. What graphics pack am I using? Just out of curiosity. A resource pack. Oh, the Fax Pure BD for Resident Rise. That's what I'm using. Okay. And so, what do we have in the f in the um, in here? Actually, probably shouldn't have the barrels here. I'll, I'll explain why soon. I'm gonna get rid of these barrels because the rudder is, should be here. You know, where the, the rudder of the ship should be here. I, I'm, oops, I should have left that here. One sec. You know, sailors are gonna. It's gonna be connected to the wheel above, and that's how the rudder is gonna be 
controls. I, I'll, I'll I'll leave the rudder unfinished for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the front more as uh, what's it called? As storage. Some extra storage room. Oops. Ah. Okay, whatever. If you don't, if you, these sailors are lazy. They, they didn't organize their ship very well. Okay, let's, let's, let's have a little barrel here, so you know, if we want to get the supplies in the back, we can jump up, grab the grab the stuff. Oh, too much hassle. These are smart and lazy, lazy um, sailors. They're they're ergonomical. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but I'm gonna go with put a little barrel here. Like this. That's that's not too safe. Oh man, why did I do that? Okay, there we go. It's a little dangerous. A little dangerous too. Come on now. Okay. So now if I want to grab the stuff in back here, you know, I'm a smart sailor. I can jump up these little barrel steps I made. It's perfect. You know, we have a, we have a little space around these cannons too. You know, let, let let's add some gunpowder. This is what these little you know. Cans are filled, with, are filled with right next to a can, and you know a barrel of gunpowder, just so you know our our sailors can reload really quickly. Cause that that's a totally smart idea. Next to your, next to your ship, you know, just putting a bunch of gunpowder next to your weapons. They, these things don't blow up or anything, but I did say our sailors were smart, but They're not geniuses. Okay, you know. It's crowded down here. Sail sailors need, you know. They need, they need to be able to put their stuff somewhere. What else should I add? Do you want to add a book? Maybe I'll add another table in the center. Oops. Table! And chairs. Why well, I use chairs? I like get barrels. Does this look better? Does it look, does it look a bit strange? I don't know. I think once I start adding some people, it'll look a little more crowded. Uh, it's a bit strange. I'll figure out. Uh, at least for now, we got you know the basics. Now we're, we're gonna add some lanterns too. Oops, not cannon heads, lanterns. Oh, it's right here. Let's add you know every, every little intersection, intersection, so it seems a bit more natural. Ah, add lantern here, here. Here and maybe in the center of the ship. We have a lantern here too. Nah, uh, that's a lot of light. Hopefully, we don't knock these over and set the ship on fire. <laughs> um, no, nah, that, that's dumb. This is gonna be a rudder. That's why I said we're gonna. My or I gonna add a lantern to our to our rudder. Yeah, probably have probably have a lamp here. Something like that. I guess we can work on the rudder a little bit. Um, rudder is probably gonna be. I'm gonna build it out of. I just want a little trying, a little. It's called this kind of shape. I think that's what rudders look like. It's probably gonna be a. It's gonna be a big. It's, it's gonna be underneath the water too. So. It's good, yeah, and I'm gonna make it um, bigger towards the bottom because you, you, you want a decent part of your rudder to be underneath the water, not the other way around. All right. I think I like this ship. I mean, <laughs> not much. <ship. laughs> this um, it's kind of design. We'll we'll, we'll see how it works. We'll. All right, guys. I I'm back. So I go back to the um, one block wide rudder because 
If it's three blocks wide, then it's as wide as the ship. It kinda looks kinda silly after I thought about it a little more. I think this is closer to the rudder shape that one. Let me just add another block here. So, you know, a good portion of the rudder is underneath the water. I, maybe I should have started at the at the lower deck, but I wanna use the lower deck to fill it up with more more barrels and stuff, more more stuff that I'm gonna transport, you know, for my ship or what whatnot. I think it looks alright. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Maybe I start my my ship too high. I should I put it one deck lower? Hmm. I don't know. We, we, we can figure that this out later. So anyways, I'm going to add... I want to finish up what's it called? The top deck. Or sorry, the middle deck. And then that will end the video for now. Uh, what do I have? I need... I'm going to make the deck above it now. So I need some... I need the Sakura blocks back again. Let me just search that up. Oh. Sakura blocks, planks. Put the table into my inventory. And then. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And now, I'm gonna make the top deck one wider. It's just so I can add a little bit more three dimensional shape to my ship. So. I have my outline. I'm just gonna make it one wider everywhere. And I'm back. And then yeah, we're gonna work on the up upper deck later in a bit on the next episode. But you know, I'm 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 almost see. Let me just add this block. All right. Yeah, I kind of like the new the rudder design now. I think it looks a little bit better. I don't know. Leave a comment about that. Let's Take a little a look in the inside. Okay, I guess we'll have to get rid of the lanterns here, but you know. Alright, okay, so th this is the interior of our ship, what we built earlier. See the cannons. It's a bit crowded, but once we fill it up with people, I think oh, I'm OCD about this. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be like this. I, I don't like it just pointing out. Not that look at. Okay. Yeah, so this is our ship basically. This is the second deck, so hope you like it. If you do, you know, free, feel free to leave a like. And then if you want to w watch me talk more and build more things, then click that little subscribe button. It'll mean a lot to me. Anyways, X Brown Bear signing out. Thank you guys.